there, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. How are you guys? It's Monday, September 11th. I'm gonna try something new this week and maybe just let me know how it works out. Instead of doing daily videos, I'm going to try this week doing one video for Monday through Thursday and then I'll come out with another video on Friday for the weekend. Just see how that works. All right, well, here we go. So, this week, it's a pretty intense and challenging week. We have the Sun Square Saturn all week. So this is probably gonna bring up like blockages and pretty much you're just gonna wanna find a way to move around them or bust through them. Okay. Oh, she's gonna love these earrings. Damn it. Get in there. Uh, just get. Forever. You know what? Fuck it. There. You may have to sacrifice some things that you would like to do this week with the things that you should be doing to get your work done and to stay on track because you're going to have to put in a little more energy this week. Hello? Oh, really? You guys are going backpacking? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. Okay. All right. I'll start getting my stuff together. Hey, yeah, I'm not going to be able to go on the trip. I have so much work to do. I have to study for my next exam. I didn't realize how close it was. I had no energy this week. Sorry, guys. So stay on track and remember to be grateful for the opportunities that you have. And also being grateful for your vision and your and your dream. So Monday and Tuesday, so the beginning of the week, you're, we're going to have the moon in Gemini, which is great because Gemini is a, it's an air sign and it's beautiful. So it's kind of all over the place. Communication, you're going to be want to, you're going to want to be more sociable. And then Wednesday and Thursday, the moon will drop into Cancer, which is more based on home. It's a cardinal water. So you're going to want to get things done, probably more like around the house and being home towards the end of the week. So Tuesday, the 12th, is a good day to mend relationships on disputes that we've had. I'm really sorry about this last weekend. I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to tear your arm off. Here, let me put it back on. Here, oh, you're all better. Do you forgive me? So some will also want to make uh, relationship commitments today. Now that I got your arm back on, will you marry me? You will? Oh. So today is the third quarter moon, and with all else being equal, you will understand your personal process that will help you better today. Uh, you will most likely be very analytical, but your thinking will be clear. Your appetite will decrease, like weight loss may happen. Huh? No, I'm not hungry. So yay for women. Make sure to be grateful today and your energy will peak mid-morning and then you'll feel lazy and you may need a nap after lunch. Um, once you get home, you will probably just want to lay back and be nurtured or just watch a movie. So if you usually go to the gym after work, today might be a little bit of a challenge to get your ass to the gym. Make sure to bring like a Red Bull or something with energy to work today because the last half of work will probably be kind of sluggish. Both men and women are kind of in that nesting, kind of nurturing the home type mood. Karina, Karina, yeah, we've been so long. 
Hey, can you make sure to empty the garbage, please, and do the dishes? Yeah, we've been so long. Which will be good because you might come up to a little bit of health concerns today. Maybe the kid's sick at home and you're going to have to, like, nurture them. Yeah, we've been so long. Oh, you feel warm. You poor baby. Karina, Karina. Here. Yeah, Sit down on the couch. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. I'll get you some medicine. Baby, please. No. Just like your dad. I got a bird. Pay attention to your dreams. Most likely, you'll be getting answers to your real life questions. That was a good dinner. I wonder what I'm going to make for tomorrow's dinner. Huh. Spaghetti. Yeah. I'll make spaghetti. And today, just embrace the extremes. Wednesday the 13th, the sun moves into Cancer midday. You'll most likely be the most challenging day this week because the energy is just floating kind of all over the place because there's a big mutable square. You know, for most, it's going to be a pretty good day. Like, it's going to turn out well. It's not going to be, like, horrible. For, for most, it's going to be a good day. So you'll want to get to the bottom of the idea or your thoughts today. And when working with others, you'll be very charismatic and, and that will give you favor today. So this big mutable square that's in the sky, you can dream big and you can get a lot of ideas coming in. And you may even have the energy and motivation to, to make these ideas come together. You'll also see the blockages though in the hurdles that you must get over in order to create your internal vision and dream. So don't get discouraged this week, especially today. Continue working towards your goals and just having them in the back of your head and, and tackle them the, the days that are necessary to tackle them. So you might be thinking of like everything that's getting in your way of you know, meeting a certain goal or a deadline and they could like bog down your energy, but don't let that. So each day you can tackle a piece. Yeah. I could make deodorant. <gasps> and I can use the bentonite clay. Okay. Um, go kayaking. Oh, it's raining. Um, okay. Later this week. Hmm. Use peppermint soap or bath. Maybe mark on your date, maybe like mark on your calendar a day that it needs to be done by just to keep that in mind this energy could be hard to stay on task and it could feel like you're running on a treadmill so make sure to write down your ideas so thursday september 14th the moon will be opposed pluto this might be some stuff from the past that comes up to kick you in the butt oh that's so sweet hey stop chewing that gum my fucking God. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yes. Yeah, do you remember when we went to that movie that one time? Yeah, that was the guy that interviewed me today. Yeah, I didn't get to tell him. Um, there might be some inner turmoil in relationships. It's an adverse day for Scorpios. But it's a good day for Cancer and Pisces. The moon is in Cancer, so you'll most likely just want to be chilling at home and or fixing up the home or working on the home in different ways. So that's about it for this week. Um, let me know what you think. If you like the dailies or you like just one big video of the energy of the week. And we'll go from there. Just trying out different things as my channel evolves. So 
make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like my videos and I will see you on Friday. All right guys, make it a great week. Peace.